Hello friends, welcome to the second auto layout series uh, of the tutorials and uh, in the last tutorial we learned about how to put the top space and the bottom layout and the, mm, the, the leading and the trailing constraints on the labels and I missed one thing that I want to tell you that if everything is fine we see the blue lines here so that this means that the auto layout constraints are perfectly set and there is no warning or nothing like that and suppose I drag this label a bit down you know about 50, 60 pixels down from the top it it uh, told it, it tells you the exco tells you that uh, this this label is 60 down and you need to go to 60 plus you know 60 up and the actual position is shown here so you can always use the resolve or layout options and you can uh, uh, you can use the update frames and it will bring back the label to the original position or if you want you if you want that the my label should be here and it, it doesn't want to uh, you know you don't it doesn't want the label to go up again so you need to up upgrade the constraints and to update the constraints again click on this uh, this very little thing in the right and uh, click on update constraints and it will make the label as such okay so these are with the labels and now let's try with some other things with some other controls suppose I'm going to delete these labels and I'm going to take a UI button okay and just give the background color of this button right okay so this is our button okay so it's perfectly fine in 4s and it's in the middle of the screen but what's the problem with the 4.7 5.5 inch it's not in the middle of the screen so in order to fix it we need to learn about the alignment constraints for the views so this is the menu for the alignment constraints and it tells to horizontally and vertically be in center of the super view so every uh, control or every view or every label or anything any uh, any view is uh, is uh, you know uh, we put constraints for every view with respect to the current super view in which uh, the view is uh, you know added so this is the parent view of uh, the button and we will put the constraints with related to the parent view so just right click on it drag and drop to the parent view that is the super view and click on center horizontal in container so when you click on center horizontal in container the x code tells you that uh, the position of the button should be here the yellow dotted marks the orange dotted marks I think it's orange color I don't know. okay so uh, why this is uh, why Xcode uh, showed this because we haven't set a top space because we have just told Xcode that this button will be centered horizontally in the screen but we haven't told the Xcode that this button uh, you know what is the space from the top the button needs to be aligned so in order to do it either give a top space or it's better if you want to put this button on the center of the screen better to give a uh, center vertically container too so this button is now at the center in every iPhone so you can see here the layout is uh, exactly the same for all the uh, various dimensions of the iPhone the button is uh, in the center of the screen so it will remain in the center whether you will rotate or whether you will uh, do it in any kind of uh, any dimension of iPhone so these are the various alignment and uh, uh, alignment constraints and uh, let's clear these constraints and let's select the button and click on this menu and click on these two horizontal center container vertical center in container and add these so we can do this so a2 this is one of the alternate ways in order to put the horizontal and vertical constraints we can put the constraints from pin to so there are many uh, alternate ways to do it uh, whichever way you like so this is for the button now if I uh, increase the size of the button and again I put it at the center what happens The size of the button is not increased in any of the uh, any of the iPhones. Why? Because the button is 
the intrinsic type one and it the Xcode suggest you that uh, suggest you that the text in which the button the I've written text button here we u t t o n so the the text uh, area is the button area itself so as far as the text area is concerned the button will be made of the same area so if I write uh, this uh, text as the larger one so button will uh, you know expand itself to that particular text so in order to make uh, this as our view uh, so that we can we can have some breathing space with the text in the button what we need to do we need to just uh, add a we need to click on pin and we just need to add a width constraint here so this means that in every situation the width of the button is locked and we need this width only so when you click on the width this automatically gets fixed and in every iPhone or iPad when you rotate it or when you see in a portrait mode or a landscape mode the button is of 107 width size so this is all regarding the width locking and similarly the same kind of locking is done with the height one so let's delete this and let's make a new I view let's give a color as red okay so this is our view and we just want to make it as a center one so first of all we need to give the width to be fixed here and height to be fixed here so we have just fixed the height and width of the view what Xcode tells us that if you haven't uh, given any kind of constraint so it means that uh, the view is uh, at the zero zero position at the top and from the left so what do you need to do we need to provide the center horizontal constraint and when you click on the center it means that view should be here and you click on update frames it will go there itself so basically uh, uh, we, we need to we need to see where we want to do we want to put the particular view so I just want to put it on uh, the center horizontal and center vertical so this means basically the view is in the center of each and every iPhone now we uh, suppose we put our add more banner at the bottom and we want this add more banner earlier what happens that uh, we have a 320 with iPhone only and uh, we don't need any kind of uh, uh, other check so we put the height as 320 but uh, nowadays uh, there are different dimensions of iPhones let's keep this height as 50 okay and what I going to do I'm going to expand this view okay fine and see what happened here the view is disappeared in the 3.5 inch in 4 inch it's perfect because I'm designing for the 4 inch view controller storyboard uh, in 4.7 another weird experience and 5.5 oh my god so what we need to do first we need to uh, click on the pin and we need to uh, set this view uh, 0 from the bottom so what happened the view is still uh, you know zero from the bottom but we haven't given any other constraint in order to see the uh, the view what actually happened so we'll need to uh, just you know uh, just fix the height and width of the view so here we are the width and height of the view is fixed the width is uh, the width is 320 and the height is 50 but it's not all we need so we need an add view which should be you know scaled in all the devices at the bottom and it's not at all scaled in 5.5 .5 inch or 4.7 inch or 4, 4 inch so what I need to do what will do so just clear all the constraints and I'll tell you what constraints should be there for this particular add view so that it is uh, scaled we just put a bottom zero we just put a uh, trailing zero the leading zero both of them are zeros and we just add this constraint here okay and we need to have a fixed height here of that particular view so what happened here we just uh, lock the height of the view so that we we, we we told the compiler or we told the editor that this view should should be of 50 in any case in any dimension of any phone 
now what we did in order to scale the width we told that the leading space should be zero the leading space should be zero for this view the trailing space should be zero for the view and the bottom space should be zero so the constraints play their part and they uh, they told uh, the 4.7 the 5.5 inch that my view this view the pink view is uh, just a zero uh, difference from the left from the right and from the bottom so this becomes your add view and when you just uh, uh, I'm sorry to say uh, when you just uh, rotate the screen and what happened uh, something weird happened and that uh, is not aligned uh, uh, we'll see what happened so uh, this uh, add view is fixed here and uh, you can see the various ads here and the, the add view is scaled there but what happened with this the constraints are actually the constraints are cleared here too so we need to put the constraint here I'm sorry just uh, click on the height and width of this view and keep it as center horizontally keep it as center vertically and now everything is perfect and you will see that this is maintained Fine. actually when I cleared the constraints of this view so uh, sometimes what happens that it also clears the constraints of other views too so this is you know some some sort of work of Xcode but I think uh, you should be careful in doing that so earlier there were, I put already earlier I have put the constraints uh, with the center horizontal vertical and height width fix of this view but uh, I don't know some cause it lost the constraints so this is the view which we actually wanted to have and the view uh, the pink view should be uh, zero zero from the left right and bottom and uh, the width should be scaled the height is fixed it is 50 and this view the red little view is aligned to the center in every kind of icon so this is regarding the basic uh, constraints of the alignment and uh, uh, alignment and you can say the locking of height and width with the extrinsic type views uh, these are not buttons these are not uh, labels this is a view we can have a uh, as much with as we can and Xcode will not complain about uh, that if we put any kind of lock and width uh, height and width constraints on the UI views so we will see some more views we will design some more layouts in the next tutorial and we will learn how to make the full use of auto layout in designing the uh, the layout of uh, various apps and iPhones in all particular dimensions so let's meet in the third tutorial of the auto layout series Thank you for watching.